let's examine how PET images are formed and reconstructed. To obtain the unique functional images that PET offers, raw data must be reconstructed. Thanks to a variety of technological advancements, PET image quality has significantly improved. In addition, the criterion for determining a good PET image is totally subjective to the user. Multiple factors influence which iterative reconstruction algorithm, or IR, to employ in PET imaging. Reconstruction options include choice of filter, attenuation and blur, weighting, comparison by ratio and difference, and the number of iterations. While sharper filters and larger numbers of iterations offer higher resolution images, they also increase noise. Smoother filters reduce the noise level, but then the image resolution isn't as high. Let's examine a few reconstruction pitfalls that you should be aware of. First, algorithm tuning is delicate. Every change requires validation on a large data sample acquired on multiple scanners with multiple detection tasks. Second, no matter how accurate the reconstruction algorithm, no other component can replace good emission data, which can only be obtained with enough statistics, no patient motion, an empty patient bladder, no patient contamination, no dose infiltrations, etc. Furthermore, high quality system corrections, including frequent normalization, attenuation correction, and scatter correction are also desirable. Finally, never compromise emission and transmission statistics, especially on heavy patients. Statistical reconstruction removes only inconsistent noise, which doesn't account for all the noise. Also, don't forget that respiratory motion decreases standard uptake values, or SUVs, inside of the lungs. When we break down various technological components of PET and discuss reconstruction, we can't skip filtered back projection, or FBP. What is FBP? By processing each individual projection with a filter prior to back projection, FBP improves overall quality. This method is fast and uses less computing power. Furthermore, despite the fact that more elegant, iterative, and analytical techniques have been devised, FBP is still widely used in commercial instrumentation because of history and its ease of use and implementation. FBP is employed for general PET, so it is used for reference images. FBP is effective. It can help you determine positioning and detect patient movement, etc. It produces the correct result for high statistical data and will also generate an image to tell you where you are. Of course, FBP has its downsides and limitations. Primarily, FBP ignores noise, which gives all projections equal weight. So when highly attenuated lines of response are noisy and produce streak artifacts, the result is a bias in volume of interest, or VOIs, or correlated noise. Furthermore, FBP noise is controlled through linear filtering in sinogram space, which is suboptimal. Now we're ready for what we call IR, or iterative reconstruction. It's helpful if you can remember that the word iterative means repeat. The basic concept of IR is to compare the numerical projection data and the measured projection data in a feedback loop. The feedback from this comparison is used to adjust the image estimate and to minimize the difference between these two data sets. As the process is repeated or iterated, the derived changes to the image estimate become small and the estimate converges on the solution image. The number of iterations required to reach convergence is dependent upon which IR algorithm is utilized. Optimal resolution and contrast are used as a measure of convergence. Rapid convergence is a necessary prerequisite for practical clinical implementation. Iterative reconstruction may take longer. We do have an alternative which is called maximum likelihood, expectation maximization, or MLEM. For the EM iterative method, we start by guessing what the pixel count density will be in the reconstructed patient's image. Typically, it's one everywhere. Then we numerically forward project this data into a trial projection data set. The trial projection is compared to the measured data. The initial guess for the patient image data is then adjusted for the magnitude of the discrepancy. Each voxel in the image is corrected by the average discrepancy over all projection pixels that back project into the voxel. Starting each time with a new adjusted image, we repeat this process again for a specified number of times or until the average discrepancy is acceptably small. In EM methods, the power is the set of forward projection weights that control how the image data contributes to the trial projection data.
In this final section of our first module, we'll explore some of the other reconstruction methods that are commonly used for PET. The most important point for you to recognize is that different PET programs utilize different methods for reconstructing image data. Having a general grasp of each one may be useful. We will begin with Ordered Subset Expectation Maximization, or OSEM. PET typically utilizes this technique to reconstruct images. OSEM employs an EM method, however it only uses a subset of the projection data in the forward projection step. Since calculating an update to the image involves only a fraction of the complete data set, it takes only that fraction of the time the full EM algorithm needs to finish one update. Our next option is attenuation weighted, ordered subset expectation maximization, also known by the much shorter acronym AWOSEM. This technique is simply an extension of the OSEM technique described above, with the added capability of weighted LORs that pass through the more highly attenuated areas, thereby addressing artifacts that have been detected in the more commonly found OSEM algorithm. Finally, there are RAMLA, or Row Action Maximum Likelihood Algorithm. This 3D iterative image reconstruction algorithm substitutes voxels with spherically symmetric volume elements called blobs and places them on a uniform 3D grid. The advantage of blobs is their ability to find their amplitude and shape, thus impacting the reconstruction image quality. Attenuation correction, which is incorporated in the algorithm, is based upon a single transmission scan followed by image segmentation. RAMLA provides a small gain in image quality, however, it requires up to 25 minutes to reconstruct the image volume.